When you want to export files from Adobe XD for your clients or your developers, there are really two different options. You can export them directly from XD to your desktop or your designated folder, or you can use different plugins depending on what your clients and developers are using, something like Zeppelin, for example, like in the example of the plugins which I showed you. In this video, we're going to focus just on a native export from Adobe XD to your desktop, so to your destination, because there are so many of these apps right now uh, and in the future when you might be watching this video so depending of the app in question you might want to explore that like Zeppelin for example which I mentioned but in this video we're just going to focus on native settings so if you go back to Adobe XD what we have right here are these designs which we created so what I can do is zoom in right here I can export this entire artboard by hitting Control or command E and here we have all of these options. So we have PNG, SVG, PDF, and JPEG. Let's choose JPEG, for example. Then we have quality, so you can lower down the quality if you want to optimize this image. You have design and you have the web. So if you choose web, it's going to export at 1x and 2x. If I choose design, it's just going to export at 1x. You can change where you want to export and you can simply click export. Then if I want to choose PNG, for example, then you can choose design web one and two export ios so one two and three and android is going to export in all of these sizes so designed at 100 and it's going to export at all of these different sizes so developers can easily scale it for any other size finally we have export two once again so you can choose that svg is great for the icons so let me cancel this and choose one of these icons so for example this one people icon so when I hit control uh, E once again and select SVG from here you can see uh, presentation attributes so you can change this or internal CSS however you want your developers to see this SVG at the end uh, save images so you can have embedded or linked images file size so you can have it at optimized but svg is always small file size but if you want to go even further and lower this even more then you can click right here to minify it if you want to you have pet options so outline stroke if that's included it's going to include it into svg and finally we have destination for the PDF, it's really quite simple. You can export your design as PDF and you can see your starter plan allows you to export PDF up to two times. You can upgrade to export more than that. And finally, you can choose single PDF or multiple PDFs, but you have to uh, select uh, multiple artboards as PDFs in order for this to work. And JPEG, as I explained, so you can choose on any one of these options. So how can you know at which options you need to export? Well, basically it's really quite simple. My rule of thumb is if you're working with images, JPEG and PNG are just going to work fine. PNGs are great if they are images without any background. So you're always going to select PNG because it's going to keep that transparency background option. While JPEG is going to basically put a blank background behind it and you're going to be able to export it like that. If you're working with images and you're uh, sorry with icons and you're trying to export icons, then I would always, always, always recommend that you export SVG because they are vector file formats and they're not going to lose any quality while uh, PNG PNG and JPEG are bitmap file formats and as soon as you start zooming in you're going to lose a quality. Then finally PDF as you saw here in Adobe XD. PDF is great option if you want to export for example style guides or project documents like design brief or stuff like that. PDF is a great option because you can easily share it with your client and if you have multiple pages like we saw right here then you can stitch all of those pages into a single PDF you can hit Control E export it as PDF and then you can share it with your client finally I want to show you this option so for all of these layers you have this option which is marked for export or you can select a layer and then hit shift E and it's going to mark it for export this is really useful when you start designing and you know in your head because you already agreed with your developers just before you start the design that you are going to export natively from Adobe XD so you can easily mark all of these things for export. Then you can go right here to XD and if I select multiple of these I can go to the file export and batch or selected all or artboards. 
batch basically means that all of these uh, things which you marked for export so all of your images all of your icons all of your i don't know colors backgrounds whatever textures all of that is going to be exported as batch export selected so for example i can select five layers in this artboard i can hit Control e and it's going to export all of these selected layers or all airports if you want to share all of these airports as images for example jpeg or png you're going to select this option for all airports make sure to notice that when you're batch exporting it's going to export in a single file format what that means you can for example when you are designing you can batch export images, icons, backgrounds, textures, all of them are going to be exported as JPEG or PNG, which is one drawback of this approach. So as I mentioned previously, you want to export icons in the highest possible quality because they're going to scale much better. Then you might want to choose SVG. So if you are creating these mark for export options while you are working, make sure to select what you want to mark for export for. If you want to mark for export just icons, then you're going to be able to have that svg option but if you just want to mark for export with images then you're not going to have that option you're just going to have a png or s uh, png or jpeg but not svg if you mark for export with icons basically that's it for export make sure to talk with your developers make sure to talk with your clients and to understand everything that you need to understand before you start working because it's going to be much faster and much simpler for you as a designer to work when you know what you need to export for